Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever we are on this very cold, frosty morning. Never mind. So, Origin Performance of Piao, Palkia, and Dialga have been confirmed coming to Sinnoh Tour this February. I called it, I called it like it wasn't obvious from the research storylines. Anyway, nonetheless, I know a few of the big YouTube, Pokemon YouTubers have already made videos about this. I know I did last night. I was up late editing my latest video, which we finally got the Shiny Rock Ruff. Yes! Go check that video out from yesterday. It was epic. We actually got it. And you have no idea how happy I am finally my little blue puppy. Nonetheless, right. We have much to discuss, obviously, with the upcoming new-ish legendaries. And I, this doesn't seem quite right. So, voice over me, do the thing. Legendary tales tell of legendary Pokemon. Like that make other legendaries look non-legendary. Trainers seek out all Pokemon. Origin form the Alga and Origin form Palkia have been discovered in Pokemon Go, and trainers can encounter them for the first time during space, time, and moments. Pokemon Go tour Sinnoh. The arrival of these legendary Pokemon across time and space to Pokemon Go have introduced a new phenomenon. Mana, mana. No, we are not doing that again. Adventure effects. Adventure effects are temporary bonuses to help you on your Pokemon Go adventure, activated by powerful Pokemon attacks that may be used outside of battle. Adventure effects have been reported to occur when Origin Form the Alga uses Roar of Time, not that Roar of Time, and when Origin Form Palki uses Special Rain. By the way, who made these? They are ugly as hell. Seriously. Fine, fine, I'll stick to the script, God damn it. With these latest revelations, who knows what adventure effects may be discovered in the future. And really good, doesn't it? We're getting them two forms and these two sort of new effects. So, who knows what's in the future? So, will we see other effects in the future? Who knows? But we are getting these two with these new origin forms. Now, can we, before we move on to talking about some more of that stuff, can we just talk about the here and now for a second? This morning, once again, I uh, was getting ready, get, getting up, getting ready. Uh, my rocket, I had rocket radar, I had a balloon, and I had an Arlo at home in Pokestop. So the uh, balloon was Arlo, so I was like, you know what, fudge it, Arlo, Arlo, we'll battle the balloon. We got our third, yes, third, shiny shadow bell sprout. We got the full shadow shiny bell sprout line, which is freaking awesome. I am super pleased. Honestly, that's just insane. We have three now, and probably one of the best ones I've got, actually. And just quickly with all of you uh, here and now as well, I have my recent box, 2000 Stardust. 20 Pokeballs, I'll take them. And obviously 3,000 XP's. And another shiny Pokemon. It's Galarian Mr. Mom that wasn't shiny, but that's quite a rare shiny. And 855, no idea. Let's catch it and see what's it. Catch it and see what happened. And we did. Took a few attempts, honestly, but we got it. And 855 is not that great. Two stars. 11, 12, 13, me thinks they're not bad. Kind of stuff like that. Their money is what it is. So, yes, back to this. So, yes, we are getting origin forms of our Palkin Diago, which is amazing. So, so they're going to get Origin Form Dialga, the Temporal Pokemon, Origin Form uh, Palkia, the sp spatial, Spatial Pokemon, will make their Pokemon Go debut in 5-star raids during Space Time Anomalies at Pokemon Go uh, to Tour Sinnoh. Yes, so yes, you might keep in mind right now, these will be obviously in the Los Angeles Sinnoh Tour in person, but this is where we get a bit of a problem, because this the, and their Shinies will be available, which is absolutely insane. Now they will be available as well, global now we'll get through this i'll get we'll get to this but i want to explain first of all so if you've got the ticket for los angeles the impulse and the obviously city gameplay you'll be able to raid these and you'll be able to get their shine and their legacy moves roar of time and spatial rain which obviously has these adventure things now obviously but you can obviously send remote invites people can join these remote, but keep in mind until global Coast, you will not be able to get their shinies nor will you be able to get this their legacy moves okay that's for those who are not ticket holders for los angeles but as i mentioned when they come next weekend after week after into global tour or global sino tour sorry i should say you will be able to obviously raid one skin for these and get their shinies and get their legacy moves and they like a special moves so okay just want to throw that one out there is a bit of a small delaying problem but then again it probably is good to still raid for these and if remote raiding these because of getting the candy for these and the stardust because this is where we get to so obviously adventure effect roar of time which is the alga obviously trainers can activate the adventure effect 5000 stars and 5 dialga candy now it only lasts for six minutes however you can extend the roar of time adventure effect 
in incre increments of six minutes you, by using more Stardust and the Alga Candy. So obviously the more you use, the longer it lasts. That makes sense, right? It states you can use it up to two hours, extend it up to two hours. So you can actually additional time of up to 24 hours, a whole entire day, which is insane because the effect of this has actually, well, if you use raw time, like I say, you can pause in the time. So you literally pause in real time in some sense. So you can have following up items, including incense, the daily incense, which is insane, lucky eggs and star pieces. So literally, all, we all know these have timers like an hour, 15 minutes for the daily incense. Lucky eggs and zombies last for 30 minutes. You can pause that. You could literally have a daily incense, a day daily incense, if it were, literally a whole entire day, which is just insane could you imagine that could you imagine maybe how many legend legend birds you might get you might get but again that's if but again keep in mind this will cost you a lot of stardust and a lot of candy so i don't know if you're going to be able to 24 hour one i'd be surprised i'd be awesome if someone did but just keep in mind yeah it, it's going to cost you a lot let's be honest here same with adventure effects spatial ren which is palkia's one this will last for 10 minutes again 5,000 stardust five candy but will last for 10 minutes i don't know why this one has an increased one but We'll gloss over that. Uh, you can affect increments of 10 minutes by using more stardust and more packing candy. Again, you can do up to 24 hours, which is absolutely insane. Uh, it was like a one off effect, but you basically need allowing for Pokemon encounters with a wild Pokemon at an increased distance. So, say my area around me here now, obviously, I can see what Pokemon are just here in a small surrounding area. By using a spatial rend, you can see it extended like further away from you. Pokemon that you might not be able to reach if you're in one spot. You could use it, extend that radius, and get more wild spawns, which, again, that's pretty cool actually. Especially with Pokemon that you, you know, like possibly that you can't, maybe you've caught really good ones and obviously you can't see anymore because it's not on your nearby list. By extending the radius, you actually might be able to find this Pokemon being in one spot by, uh, by an extended distance. Again, these are really cool features coming into the game and I'm super duper excited for it, honestly. So, as I mentioned as well, they will be in GoTour Center. Obviously, this is from the obviously the in person and will be obviously in the global one for all of us. So, obviously, you will have the options to choose Diamond or Pearl, like their adjacent games back in the day. And obviously, they made the remakes. They're my old, I'm old. They're mine, obviously. But this will affect what you encounter, apparently. So, trainers who choose the Diamond version will encounter an origin form that knows Rob Time. And those who choose the Pearl version will obviously have an encounter no special rent. Now, apparently, the way they've stated that, that is, does that mean, though, we are going to get like some sort of special research and encounter with one of these legendary Pokemon, origin form legendary Pokemon, as it were, as a standalone. So we don't have to raid for them. I mean, no, I would recommend raiding for them, but you might just get one from a special research that knows the move and obviously as just the reward, which would be absolutely insane if we do. I mean, that's pretty much everything for the legendary Pokemon, these origin form ones. Some amazing new features from them coming into the game. So, hey, let me know. Are you excited for these? Are you going to be raining for Are you going to Los Angeles tour? If you are going, I hope you have a very good find. I can't sadly go, obviously. But we're doing the, we're doing the uh, global one. You definitely know it. And we're going to be trying to rage flows and try and get those shinies. And we'll, we'll hopefully test out these new features, which sound insane. By the way, Team Dialga or Team Palkia? Let me know. I'm Dialga. I'm just going to say. I'm going to pray there. Anyway, there is some more details. We'll go through them in a second as well. Back in a bit. Curious going, wait, there's more news. Yes, there is more news. If you check it out on the Pokemon Go Sinnoh tour for the in-person and global one, they have announced some more Pokemon into the game, as it were, or some brand new shiny releases. And you're thinking, wait, uh, one thing though, I'm a little bit like, oh no, we're not going to not get a Ray Day for, are we? Decidueye, Hazui and Decidueye will be at the in-person, I think global, I apologise, let me correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but I was just looking it up now. All three of them actually, Hazui and Typhlosion, Hazui and Decidueye, and obviously Hazui and Samurai will be in three-star raids at the in-person Los Angeles Sinnoh tour. Now this is what I was like, oh that looks really cool, I think they might be in three-star raids the global one, I will look it up again. The thing that bugged me, I'm like, wait a minute, wait, we just got, we had, we are, well, obviously coming up to because we're in Typhlosion Ray Day this Saturday, Sunday, one of them days, anyway, um, it's weekend, either way, um, obviously we had Hazuian Samurai Ray Day, but I'm like, wait a minute, you're telling me we're not going to get a Hazuian Decidueye Ray Day, I'm like, no, I don't be, I hope that isn't the case, that's really bright now, I'm in the sunlight, I do apologise, <laughs> but, I hope that's not the case. You can't just just, just not do a raid day for it. I mean, okay, yeah, we're going to get all three of them during the Senator. Great. Don't be wrong, that's amazing. Yes, for those who missed out on the raid days, you'll be able to get a chance to get them through this global and the in-person Senator. Fantastic. But you're going to just go, uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do a raid day for it. We're just going to put it in the go. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Anyway, we're saying that, as I mentioned, yes, 
more shiny Pokemon. Hazuian, Voltorb, and Electrode, and Hazuian, Quillfish, and Overquill are getting their shiny releases, both the in-person and global tours. And I'm trying to find somewhere where the sunlight isn't shining too bright. So, this is freaking awesome. Really cool looking shiny. It's like darker sort of like colours, like, like, like a sort of brownish black colour for Voltorb and Electro. And it's sort of a silvery darkish colour, like black I think greyish colour for Quillfish and Oakwood. Now these will be spawning in the wild during the respective habitats. So every hour or twelve when they swap the habitats, these will be spawning in those particular habitats. Yes, that makes sense. So they will be available shiny in the wild. I don't ask me what the odds are. I mean they I know there's going to be some shiny boosts for certain Pokemon and uh, for certain things, especially from the eggs as well, because certain Pokemon that, from Sinnoh that haven't been released shiny will be in eggs and have an increased chance of being shiny from, from the respective eggs. So, the new one, Chingling, will be coming from 2 kilometer eggs. You'll have the Zoom Voltorb and Hezuian Quillfish as well, own 5 kilometer eggs. Again, they can be shiny and 10 kilometers. Patrice, you tap chat off, and obviously kind of on both global and in person so it's a lot to go for as well also saying that team up with your friends and stuff during both global and the in-person sino tour now it's a bit different slightly you'll be able to encounter regigigas doing some tasks and some research from party play now the in-person los angeles one you'll be able to encounter not just regigigas but obviously Regirock, rock reggie steel and reg ice or reggie ice when pronounce it these are, are only the in-person los angeles one the global one have a looking up you only be getting encounter a regigigas but again could potentially be shiny and i mean all those could be shiny as well so if you're in need of getting one of these pokemon you can get one from I said, party playing with your friends or family or whatever and doing some research time to get to get this pokemon oh, this legendary pokemon don't know i know we've had it in raids like not recently as well and it's really good pokemon. but to be fair there's probably one of the best rewards i think they've announced for doing party play because let's be honest the rewards of party play are a bit poor at the moment just saying. For those at Los Angeles talk, but you can unlock this for everybody globally. So keep this in mind. So it's called a paranormal puzzle. Rotom is causing mischief at Pokemon Go Tour Center. Los Angeles work together with fellow trainers to piece together a secret code that unlocks an encounter with Rotom. Now, doesn't I think literally just Rotom itself, not one of the Rotom forms, as it were, you know, we can transform into. Literally, Rotom himself. Uh, once trainers at the Rose Bowl Stadium undecipher the code, trainers worldwide can redeem it too. So you do lot out there at Los Angeles when you're doing a tour. Do this for us, the globe ones that can't make it up there, okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Nah, that'd be, that sounds cool. Also, new encounters on routes, or routes, however you want to pronounce it. White Striped Baskin, and this will be for both the in-person and global Sino tour, so don't worry. But obviously, a lot will get it first. Uh, cannot currently, or trouble is though, keep in mind, it cannot currently evolve though. So we're getting a brand new Pokemon, but we cannot uh, currently evolve it into its... So there's two different forms, isn't there? So Zubian Pokemon, like its evolution is like a bigger version of itself. It's like two different striped ones. I'm playing two Pokemon I don't know much about, but I do know it evolves into like these bigger versions of itself. Again, those will be obviously for both the in-person and global one. But again, as it states right now, currently, when we're going to encounter them, they cannot evolve yet. So... I don't know how we're going to work that. I'm guessing at some point down the line we'll be able to evolve those into his evolutions. Well, I don't know. It doesn't stay very well. I believe that is everything, my good people. It is. That is everything pretty much you need to know for these new updates for the Los Angeles Sino Tour and the in-person one. Huge huge updates coming towards it much more stuff coming to you. Thankfully, we've got a lot more information because when they first announced it, it sounded good, but you were just like, I don't know yet, but now all this coming out, this sounds absolutely insane. And there is still one final question. Well, a couple of final questions. Where's Arceus? Where are the little two lake spirits as well? Where are they? Not been announced just yet. Where will we get those announced? Another mystery upon us. Who knows? But all the same, I will leave this off today, I believe. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't checked out the video prior to this, please do so. Follow me, I'll try to rub off like I said. And like I said, let me know if you're super duper excited for, if not the Los Angeles in-person one and the global Sino tour. Please let me know because I am definitely excited for the global one. So much to unpack, so much to going on right now. So, hey, much love. We'll catch you. We'll see you in the next adventure. I cannot wait for Sino tour. We'll catch you in a bit. Bye.